Assalamu alaikum and welcome to PGMA's official YouTube channel. आप बड़े इंटरव्यूज देखते हैं लोगों की बातें सुनते हैं ओपिनियन मेकर्स एंड सो ऑन फॉर्थ आज मेरे साथ एक ऐसी पर्सनैलिटी हैं जो कि फ्रॉम पाकिस्तानी औरिजन एंड द फर्स्ट मुस्लिम सेनेटर इन दनेडियन लेट से दिनेट एंड हेयर आई आस्ट हर टू गिव हर एन इन साइट एज लेट से कैनेडियन सिटीजन as perhaps somebody from pakistani origin and of course how does the canadian let's say the uh, political side see pakistan so i'll say assalam alaikum and uh, good morning to you um, salma assalam alaikum and good uh, good morning to you it's a pleasure to talk to you now of course we'll be doing as as what we call in england and in pakistan uh, we'll talk to each other in minglish a bit of urdu and of course english as well and we could throw in a bit of pashto if you want aapko pata hai meri madri zuban pashto hai yes that's right that's right that's right spot <laughs> yes and that's where i get stumped <laughs> no urdu and uh, english inshallah urdu and english acha ye mujhe bataiye ke how does it feel because you see that's a new frontier as far as uh, politics is concerned and uh, in in comparison to the united states and of course uh, uh, britain to be a member of the senate there uh, what kind of an input do you have there um you know i've been a member of the senate now for 11 years i've been there uh, for the senate um when i was asked to be a senator i i mean i had never thought about it you know as new immigrants to this country you think of establishing yourself you know in simple things like a roof over your head children's education wo sab baatein jo hain ye unka fikr rehta hai um but um i am a political animal um aapko pata hoga ke um main ek political family se hu um aur main hamesha logon ko batati hu yahan canada mein ke aur logon ke gharon mein pata nahi you know maybe mausam movies ya kuch aur cheeze discuss hoti thi hamare gharon mein it was politics politics and politics um i watched uh, wali khan very closely i watched uh, bb uh, very closely and my own father who was a senator uh, you know um, i watched that and we were uh, quite used to seeing political personalities go in and out of our homes and uh, we were young and i um, you know but i think it leaves an impression of uh, on you so magar yahan pe senators jo hain were um, appointed at the age of 75 and uh, senate may currently i am the chair of the human rights committee um which meri liye bahut bada um ehzaz hai um ke aapko pata hai hum immigrants hai is mulk mein to be recognized that way ki unhone mujhe chair banaya hai i am also a member of the very important foreign affairs international trade committee um i have led many canadian delegations because i um used to be the president of the ipu so i led many many canadian delegations i was part of a delegation uh, of the commonwealth jo pakistan aaya tha 2018 mein so uh, alhamdulillah they uh, you know my journey has been successful i have a lot of support from my colleagues um and you know um, i but i always say that you have to prove yourself over you have to work twice as hard as anybody else um and hamesha apne colleagues ke sath meri ye bhi hamesha this is a running joke i have with them is that if i make a mistake i'm a visible minority and and we heard that hate that term visible minority but you know use ho jata hai ke i have to i have to work twice as uh, hard acha salma badi aapne interesting baat ki you know you say you're an invisible minority yet there are a lot of people who are quite uh, proactive in politics of course here in pakistan and now of course uh, in england we see a lot of members of the house of commons and lords uh, and then of course in the american congress to ye jo canada ke andar log hain ye jo aapne bada acha ek term use ke invisible inko visible hone ka shauk hai i mean there is visible 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 okay तो ये मुझे बताइए और विजिबिलिटी हम कैसे लेके आ सकते हैं ताकि उनका एक बड़ा प्रोएक्टिव रोल रहे कैनेडियन पॉलिटिक्स के अंदर यू नो हमारा बड़ा प्रोएक्टिव रोल है आपको पता है पाकिस्तानी जो है ना वो पॉलिटिकल एनिमल्स हैं हमें सियासत बहुत पसंद है और मैं हमेशा कहती हूँ जब मैं जाती हूँ गैदरिंग में कल भी यहाँ पे हमारे दो विजल्स थे एक पुख्तून एसोसिएशन ने ऑर्गेनाइज किया था जो लंडन में वाक्य हुआ Uh, उसमें 
تو میں ان کو کہتی ہوں کہ بھائی اب پاکستان کا سیاست پلیز چھوڑ دیں اب آپ کینیڈا میں رہ رہے ہیں کینیڈا کا سیاست کریں تو ہمارے کافی لوگ ہیں رن فار میونسپل یو نو پالیٹکس پروونشل اینڈ فیڈرل آپ کو پتا ہوگا کہ فیڈرل میں واجد خان واز دا فرسٹ پاکستانی ٹو بی الیکٹیڈ وی کرنٹلی ہیو ٹو ادر ممبرز اینڈ جو الیکشن آ رہے ہیں وی وی تھنک کہ مے بی فال میں اکٹوبر سپٹمبر میں الیکشن ہوگا تو اس میں بھی کافی کینڈیڈیٹس ہیں پاکستانی اوریجن کے لائک وی کال آر سیلفس کینیڈینس آف پاکستانی اوریجن تو یہاں پہ وی آر پلینگ اے گریٹ گریٹ رول اینڈ ایف یو لوک ایٹ آر چلڈرن ایون یونیورسٹیز میں بھی آن دا ورک فرنٹ آلسو پاکستان الحمد للہ دے پاکستانیز ہیئر آر ڈوئنگ ویری ویل ہاف اے ملین پاکستانیز ہیں کینیڈا میں سو دس از اے سائزبل سائزبل یو نو گروپ Um, of course, the most is in the Toronto or, or the greater Toronto area, but Vancouver may be, Montreal may be, Alberta, Calgary may be, both se hamare log hai, who are very, very successful. Okay. Achha. ایک اپنی جو بڑی ایک انٹرسٹنگ چیز آبزرو کی جاتی ہے پاکستان میں نا یو ہیو ٹو کریکٹ می ایف آئی ایم رانگ کہ جو آپ کے پرائم منسٹر ہیں جسٹن ٹروڈو ڈز ہی ہولڈ اے سافٹ اسپاٹ فار پاکستان یو نو وٹ آئی تھنک ایکشن اسپیک لاؤڈ دین ورڈس سو لیٹ می آسک یو کوشچن وٹ ہیز ہی ڈن فار پاکستان What concrete well, action has he taken for Pakistan? I know, I, I, and, and I ask that because I'm a member of the opposition, and, and, and these are especially after Joe, uh, London, who you know, a, a family of Pakistanis was killed because they were, they were Muslims. Um, I, I, always, I, I am saying that, and I consistently really say that, that words are not enough. Actions. I want to judge you by your actions. What have you done? So, um, I think... You know, maybe there's that perception that uh, Justin is very uh, fond of uh, Pakistan. Maybe he is, but I would like to know, uh, beyond words, I would like to know what actions have been taken. Um, what has he especially done? You know, simple things, simple things I'll tell you. The um, visa office in Canada ka, it's still in Abu Dhabi. And the one uh, conversation I keep having with the immigration minister, because many people say, they call these issues of, you know, family reunification, these issues of visas, Taliban, you know, students could visas, name and rare. And um, it's a long process. So I keep asking the immigration minister, okay, you know, Pakistan, everybody's declaring it a family, family country now, like where the embassies have opened up and they're bringing their families back and, you know, they're considering it a safe country. Why is our visa office still in Abu Dhabi? And he says, oh, you raise an important issue. So simple things like that. Why are so many of our students being denied visas? Why is it taking over two years for spouses to uh, unite? So, you know, baat karna asaan hai. I want to know what have you done, especially for Pakistanis. And uh, what about the migrants policy, immigration policy? Well, you know, Pakistan was one of the top uh, um, source of uh, immigration to, to Canada. Um, but I... I, I'm hearing that last year they issued only 3,000 visas. I might be wrong. I have to verify that. Uh, but um, not too many visas were being issued. And, I, and I'm cu- currently dealing with a bar's essay cases, hai, which, uh, you know, I have raised with the immigration minister. Um, and I think two years ago, we even raised something in, in the house about uh, visas. It was a simple case, a, a, a young a uh, successful doctor had married uh, somebody who was two years younger, three years younger than her. And they were calling the marriage a fake. They said, Pakistan may, you know, older women don't get married to younger men. And we said, you know, who are you to judge these things? What do you know about Pakistani society? And, and if we had an office in Islamabad, it would be easy for them to check instead of just reading on paper. But why is it that, uh, you know, of course, uh, when we speak about bilaterals and relationships and everything, why is it that, uh, you know, uh, the Canadian presence uh, is more powerful in, in Islamabad? You, you feel it is more powerful? In no, 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 I don't think so. No, I, I, I don't. And that's, that's an issue that for the... When we came, uh, jab hum aay, I'm sorry, I keep Angrezi in both. When we came in 2018, it was a delegation of 10 years ago. 
um, you know, uh, Pakistan. So um, Pakistan, Canada has been a very strong and very good friend uh, to Pakistan. It was one of the first few countries to recognize the newly formed nation in 1947. Um, you know, and, and we do have a lot of aid going to um, to Pakistan. In fact, um, with, with the polio program, I did an event with End Polio now um, in Parliament, and the minister came and announced $20 million uh, for uh, aid. And I was in Pakistan when that money was, was distributed. This was, I think, 2013 or 2014. Um, and when the flood came, I remember I, we were in government, the conservatives were in government. I reached out to the prime minister's office. He matched dollar for dollar, which people were contributing 80 million dollars was sent to Pakistan, and the, the famous away bridges. Um, a lot of the bridges uh, were swept away, and the, these are temporary bridges. Uh, Canada provided that. Uh, we have uh, continued funding for women, uh, women's programs, whether it's in Punjab or in other areas. So, but Canada can do more. Canada can do more. Now, this is a touchy thing. You think that Islamophobia is a wrong perception in Canada, mein diya gaya hai, particularly, you know, this jo incident hua hai. You know, um, I don't mince my words about it. Islamophobia is alive, well and kicking. And, and um, again, I, you know, I gave a statement in the Senate after this attack and I, and I said that, you know, we need to be conscious of the words we use. Um, when a Muslim mamalik hota hai, wahan kuch hota hai, they, uh, you know, it's quickly described as that Islamist state. What does Islamist state mean? You know, words have consequences and we have to be careful. And I addressed my colleagues too in the Senate. And I said, so often I hear languages over here also, which, you know, is uh, it, it's hurtful. And when a Muslim comes and tells you that I find this word offensive, why do we keep using it? You know, I, I, mujhe itna fakhar hai. Uh, Muslim ban pe, apni community pe. Ye, this horrible, horrible waqia jo hua. Um, and you know, and the biggest strategy is that uh, Madiha, uh, uh, you know, she was days away from defending her PhD. She had a, a degree in civil engineering from the University of Peshawar, and she was doing her PhD in uh, water resources, and she was getting ready to, for her defense. And, and the family was out for a walk and they got attacked because they, they were Muslims. But uske baad, yeah, this horrible, horrible thing happened. And uske baad, jo online hate hai, directed at Muslims. And yesterday, again, we had an incidence of a, a Muslim woman being, uh, you know, attacked. And, and jo hamari bachiya hai, jo hijab mein hai, unka hijab kencha jata hai. You know, why? And, 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 and I think the media, and I always tell the media, you play a role in this. If, 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 if this was an attack that a Muslim had done it, straight away his religion would have been mentioned. No Muslim has asked, what religion does this 20-year-old, uh, you know, what, relig what is his religion? The community has reacted with love, with patience, compassion, and coming up together. I was, I was at an event yesterday, Jo Malti Feta. We had a Jewish rabbi, we had, you know, imams, we had a Buddhist monk. And, and, and coming up together. And, 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 but I also saw that the young children who were there who were carrying, you know, uh, signs and, and saying, you know, talking about love and peace and living together. You know, Muslim children, especially those who are in, in hijab. I, and I've had conversations with the young mothers. I don't even want to send my daughter to the park. I'm worried. She will get attacked because she's Muslim. So the problem is here. We need to confront it. And, you know, and, I, and, and I'm very grateful that yesterday uh, um, the Prime Minister Imran Khan called out Islamophobia. And I, I express my grat gratitude to him because other world leaders, Muslim world leaders, have to start calling out Islamophobia. Silence is not going to get us anywhere. And, you know, all these conversations that are taking place, all this hate doesn't happen in a vacuum. There's conversations which are taking place and we need to call them out. And we need to stand united. And it's Quebec Masjid mein ye hua chand saal pehle. Musliman were praying. Somebody came and shot them and killed them. Everybody said condemn, condemn. Okay, you condemned it. Kya kiya? Uske baad humne kya kiya? That's, that's my question. That's the question I'll be asking tomorrow in the Senate. Salma, do you think uh, it is time, like uh, what uh, Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan, what he said in the General Assembly uh, in his speech, 
Do you think it's time that uh, I, I guess the the ordinary man or a woman on the street, uh, perhaps uh, they would be, um, you know, educated on uh, on Islam? You think that's the way forward? You know, um, the Muslims in, in in Canada specifically, we we make an effort to reach out to uh, everyone. Um, you know, I know uh, there's been years where they've thrown their homes open to people during Ramadan and they say, come meet us, come ask us questions. Our masjid, they're open to everyone. Um, and we find, you see the mindset, how do you change that mindset? And, and, and I'll tell you, I raised this issue of 250 white supremacist group. We have to confront that, that we have a problem in our country. The problem is not coming from Muslims. And that's why I want leadership to speak out. We, the problem is coming from the white supremacist group and the language and the hate. Jo, up, up, up. You know, I couldn't even see the videos. And I'm telling people, please don't see these videos. Report them. Jo, hate, are directed towards Muslims. And I also remind everyone, Muslims are not new to this country. Jo, first census Canada ka hua 1867 May. There's mentions of Muslim living in Canada. You know, we've been here since Confederation. We've contributed. And Ajitak, I haven't seen any Muslim harm Canada. If anything, we have fought for Canada. We will fight for Canada. And we're very proud Canadians because this country has given us so much. And Canada, Canada works because we encourage multiculturalism. We want people to, uh, you know, be proud of their heritage. And that's everywhere else they've declared multiculturalism dead. But in Canada, we haven't. And quite often when I'm overseas in Europe, they will ask me, what makes Canada's multiculturalism work? Because, you know, Canada has... In but unfortunately, unfortunately, because of world events and what has happened and the rhetoric that is played out daily in the press, on TV, in the newspapers, and online against Muslims. And and, and ye, ye jo, uh, tai ka bachata. he was young when he, who, who did this. My final question... Um, when I speak, I speak about education, uh, do you think it would be the right way, like perhaps, uh, you know, having small pamphlets or small booklets being printed and uh, giving the basic tenets of Islam and then distributed amongst the society free? They, they are, they are uh, masajid here, who do this work. There are uh, masjids who open their doors and ask people to come in. But we're wondering whether... Um, Maybe something needs to change in the school curriculums. You see, Canada does not have an official uh, religion. Everybody's uh, free to yeah free to practice their faith. So these are all questions that we are grappling with. These are all questions that we are um, talking about. These are questions, uh, you know, that we want answers. We want answers. We what about what about Selma? What about interfaith dialogue? Oh, there's a lot of interfaith dialogue going on. Yesterday, some of the be most beautiful words were said, said by the Jewish rabbi, you know, and who, who said that we're a, we're a one family because we're all the children of Abraham. You know, we're all, uh, we're all people of the book. That recognition is there. But problem is that, you see, when you're in bigger cities, um, you have more interaction. But London, Ontario is a big, big city. And, and that's why I think it surprised everybody. But we hear from people that there's been issues there. Um, and Arabic is the second spoken language in London, Ontario, and Muslims, we, you know, we're in the universities. Our children are getting education and doing very well. But it, it's, you know, I'm at a loss. How do we change the dialogue? We're, we're doing, Muslims are doing all the right things. We're opening up our homes. We're opening up our mosques. We're giving out pamphlets. You know, we're willing to discuss anything. And I remember back an instance, Japan, the senator of Point Uriti, and the Senate starts every day with the Lord's Prayer, you know, bless the people of simple prayer. Bless the people of Canada. And because we're a commonwealth, bless the queen. Simple. And one of my senators, who's a good friend and who didn't intend it to be malicious, asked me, does the Lord's Prayer offend you? And I said, no, it's the same Lord we all pray to. So there's, 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 though it's a multicultural society, somehow Canadians dance around religion. We don't discuss religion too much because, but maybe these are difficult conversations we need to have now. Salma, thank you very much for your time. 
And of course, we'll continue this uh, dialogue uh, because this is a very important dialogue which needs to be, uh, I guess, uh, proliferated amongst the people. Yeh thi pehli mai kahunga ke ek khatoon jinhone Canadian Senate mein ek member ka azaz hasil kiya hai. और आज जो हमारी बात हुई है ये वही बात है जो कि मैं अंग्रेज या पाकिस्तानी आप कह लो मेंबर्स ऑफ द कॉमन्स उनसे बात होती है या कांग्रेसमैन से बात होती है कि हमें एक दूसरे के साथ एक इंटरेक्शन बहुत ज़रूरी है क्योंकि कई होते हैं हमारे अंदर भी कई गलत लोग हैं अंग्रेज़ों के अंदर भी गलत हैं हर एक सोसाइटी में गलत हैं लेकिन इसको हमने बॉन्ड को कैसे तकड़ा करना है एक ही तरीके से और वो है डायलॉग लुक आफ्टर यू सेल्फ लुक आफ्टर द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ पाकिस्तान एंड ऑफ कोर्स लुक आफ्टर ह्यूमैनिटी खुदाफिज़